Has your relationship changed since Drew transitioned? I think we've covered that, really, haven't we? <laughs> yes, in all manner of ways. Yes. Um, but for the good, I, I, I like how deep we know each other because of what we've gone through. I like for, that. For, don't say the word deep. <laughs> Erect, anything at the moment. To be honest, you, get you could probably just say pillow and it does it for you right now. It's just like, pillow. Actually, no, I lied. It didn't do anything at all. Um, come back for an interesting one. Come here. Do you see yourselves as gay men? This is a big one. <laughs> no. 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 I think that's also, if going back to other questions on how we're dealing with our relationship as well, I think that's also a big thing. It to be said, yeah, because we're worried about being intimate in public. Yes. Not just because of um, attack or anything like that, but also because we don't want to be seen as gay men. And if two because men, we're not gay men. Yeah, and if two gay men are cuddling in the street... If two men are cuddling in the street and kissing, then they're obviously gay. We're, we're, we're not. not. So that, <laughs> <laughs> that's really hard. And I think, you know, people have asked, what's the issue with this? And the issue is, as I've said in another video I've done before, it's not an issue for me with being gay. It's that I've had an identity thrown onto me at all manner of times in my life. And now I'm who I really am. I'm a man. This is the man I've always known myself to be. And no one's telling me who I am. So now we're, we're having me. a... Hmm? Not even me. No. So now we're having this label thrown on us that doesn't describe us. Gay is not a word that describes us, is it? No. There aren't any words that describe us. This this new word, thanks to Nikki, that I've, I've heard of is heteroflexible, and I've been using that because I love that, because it does actually describe me. I generally don't even go for anything like that. I'm just me. Yeah, but the trouble is, you're labelled by outside. We can be label free, but if the world's not label free, then we still get labelled. Which is so bloody annoying. I know, right? So we're just trying to get around that, aren't we, really? Yeah, yeah. Because at the end of the day, I gather you've said it before then, that if we weren't together... Then I'd be a very woman. Yeah, yeah, so would I. Yeah. But this is why I think that I've got... I'm, I'm flexible. I think <coughs> visually, when I see a woman, that's who I'm attracted to. But on a romantic level and on an emotional level, I think I can be very flexible. Well, obviously, because, you know, I still love Drew as a bloke. So I think I have that flexibility of attraction. But I think my primary attack attraction is the physical form of a woman that then pulls me into a relationship. And then I become <coughs> attracted physically, emotionally and mentally. Whereas because we're already together, I didn't need a primary thing to pull me in because I was already there. Yeah. So I can love you emotionally and romantically as a man as I could a woman that's the best way I can make sense of it but when someone says oh, are you gay you can't then just say well I'm emotionally you can't go off on love like this can you so it's a bit annoying it's just it like depends if, who asks, I suppose, but no, yeah if people ask really. for clarification then I'll go off on one and then yeah. they'll wish they hadn't asked um, so yeah hetero flexible is what I like to be but we're working through this one because I do not want to lose our intimacy well no I don't either but at the same time I also don't want to be seen as gay when I'm out. Yeah. So, yeah, we need to work, work on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like this one, which is also by Prince Shelley. Um, what kind of man does Drew hope to be? Because <laughs> um, I've turned into a camp as Christmas flamboyant. I, I don't want to be as camp as you no. are. No, no offence, darling. That's but, okay, darling. You know... He is quite camp. As Funny. Christmas. Yes. Um, um, what kind of man do I hope to be? Mm -hmm. a, a nice man. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, to be honest, um, I think um, my mum. You want to be a mum? <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't want to be my mum. I mum. But when I came out, hi mum. When I came out originally, one of her things of obviously, other than losing her daughter and everything else, that kind of upset her quite a lot was that she didn't want me to lose some of the traits that I have. Yeah. Um, like, or well, supposedly I'm quite loving and... You are quite loving. ...sensitive. You are very sensitive. And I'm taking a mic. No, I'm not. And that basically I'm just quite in touch with... Yourself currently. No, I'm sorry about that. Um, feelings and, and, and just general, quite gentle person is probably the best way to put it. And I don't really want to lose that. Um, there are, historically, there's males in my family that can get quite 
aggressive and that's someone I very very do not want to be so I'd like to kind of break that trend in my family um, and be lovely. And, think and ginger. <laughs> You'll always be ginger. Yeah, I'll always be ginger until it all goes white or falls out. <sighs> or a bit of both. Bugger. Ginger sunroof. He's in now. Uh, do you. Ooh, this is a good one as well. Oh, uh, is it? Do you have any particular ways of dealing with your unique relationship? Tips and or tips for others in the same position? I've written a couple of notes there already about that one because I read that one. Before. Yes, yes. Um, tips of, t tip, talk. Talk. Which is communication. Quite we, do, we do have to do a lot of talk. We have yeah. introduced recently. We just kind of grunt at each other sometimes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's it really. Oh. But recently when it was getting a bit kind of rocky and we were just snapping all the time, we've introduced date night. Yes we have. And we're doing this thing now where once a fortnight. Take it in turns. Yes. Drew does a date night. Anything, it could be anything like a picnic in the park, anything silly, and then picnic I do in the one. Park, not silly. And then a fortnight after that, we do one together. So we have a double date night where we both choose something, so it's something bigger together. We want to go to a theatre or something like that. Yes. And then we each have a date night we run for each other as well. Yes. Just to give us time to sit and force ourselves to talk. Because if we've got no television and internet and whatever, and we're just sat over a meal, it makes us kind of talk. Or even if, you know, we're not talking, we're actually just spending some quality time yeah. together rather well, than just kind of like and it's just bedging us. in front of the television. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's really helping, isn't it, at the moment? Yes. And yes. having other people to talk to just to go, oh my God! Like that, um, about yes. each other. Having a bit of a rant at someone is really always quite... But you can't do this unless you talk to each other and make time. I think the key thing is time with each other, where it's not about transition. It is yeah. just about how are we doing. Yeah. As what much as I'm do? very excited about my transition and I love it to bits, and I've loved Jules as well. I'm really bored about talking to about it. It's yeah. been like three years of just yeah talking about trans stuff, and I'm just like I can't be bothered now. Yeah. I know what's gonna happen, but. It's gonna happen differently for me, so I just I just want to watch it happen now. I don't want to keep talking about it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I know, I know. I'm sorry that it it obviously causes implications, but and I am working on that too. So, but yeah, it's we do need to talk about other things as well. Absolutely, as do you lot too. <laughs> yeah, you've been yeah. told. Um, do it. Oh, I've missed one. Has oh, your relationship? Really? Sorry. Has your have your relationship roles changed again since Drew's Drew's transition? We've kind of covered that as well, haven't we? Really, we no. don't know whose roles are what anymore. We're just in flux. No, we don't. We we just kind of like make it up as we go along. We kind of just go through the motions, basically. Of you study, I cook. I just grunt more while I'm doing it. Yeah, because at the moment Drew's off because he just needed a bit of time to kind of sort transition out. So he's at home. So I'm study from home anyway, and I do a bit of volunteer work. So I'm kind of mostly here, but dotting in about. Yeah. You're here all the time now, so. And I do a bit of volunteering as well. Yeah. I'm starting to. So that's kind but of like yeah. changed at the moment. So this is what I meant earlier. This is we're just constantly changing what we're doing. Yeah. So that I do find that quite difficult, to be honest. Also, to go into the last question of um, what we do to help our relationship, I think it's also a good idea that you have some of your own time. As in me time yeah. as well. Yeah. So as much as you have quality time together, you also need to try and have some quality time apart yeah. as well. Just because otherwise, you know, you, you, to talk about. you won't have anything to talk about. Yeah. So, but yeah, sorry, that just no, that's fine. into my head you, quickly. You, you pop away. We have one left. Um, which... <laughs> which... <laughs> How do you manage to balance each other's transition wise each other's needs trans how do you manage to balance each other's needs just transition wise I needed to read some of these before I did this didn't I um, for example surgery uh, how, so how do we balance what each other needs throughout the trilogy I see yes yes ah uh, yes yes well generally or absolutely so far he's the only one that's had surgery so it's generally you heal and I'll look after you <laughs> until I'm really tired and then basically by that point hopefully you're well enough to kind of wash yourself so <laughs> I can sleep. <laughs> oh dear. I love you. I love you. <laughs> um, no, we just kind of take it in our stride, don't we? We, we You have to. Um, 
mainly it probably is obviously the patient is the most important in my world so I will basically do whatever it takes to look after you in whichever way you need and then I kind of like deal with me afterwards really so if Oops, when sorry. you have surgery luckily they're quite drowsy for the first week or so <laughs> <laughs> so when they're asleep is generally a good time for you whoever's looking after them to rest so but it is especially with lower surgery because you had so many areas and basically so many different things to kind of control it did take a lot of time and concentration <laughs> I loved it I loved it I wouldn't have it any other way I'm not being bad about it at all but hard work sorry yeah Ugh. but the priority generally is you as the person that's had we still, the surgery we still try and make sure that we kind of like balance what each other needs like you started testosterone right bang on my recovery didn't you <laughs> yeah and grumpiness oh god <laughs> oh, he's no not. you weren't you, you were right actually the grumpiness didn't really hit till about a month in no, that's true. But the thing is, we've both been there for each other's major things in transition. Like, I, you yeah. came to my injection day, the very first one, and I wanted to come with yours, but obviously I couldn't because of surgery. Yeah. So, And I didn't want it to be that my surgery was overshadowing this important day of your hormones. So we waited till I was out of recovery and home yeah. so that you didn't have to look after me. And then we had, like, a day together. So you went off and had your shot and then came back and we had cake. Cake. So it's kind of like and curry, I think, didn't we? We did have cake and we had curry. Cake we had cake curry. first, then curry, food of then the cake, gods, which is amazing. He's so hungry. Also. Our I'm food so hungry. shot up. Um, but yeah, things like that. We try and kind of make sure that it's not one person getting all the stuff all the time. We've got to make, yeah. This is an amazing time for you, and it's like I didn't want to overshadow that with surgery. And also with surgery coming up, I need mine done early part of Christmas. Uh, after Christmas, January, February, March, April. New Year's. That's New, what you're New Year's, for, the one yeah. I'm looking for, yeah. <laughs> so that he can have his in August. If I can't have mine, then I'm going to have to sacrifice mine for a year because it's his turn now to have his surgery. So it's stuff like that, Thanks isn't it? It's, it's balancing that yeah. as yeah. well. Absolutely. But yeah, no, we just kind of deal with it as no yeah. partnership, otherwise, they don't really just. Yeah. Whoever needs what gets what they need. I love you. <laughs> I love me too. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all the questions. And I love you. I love you too. too. I yeah. love you too. Is there anything you want to say? Um, right, you can tell people how much you still love him if you like. I still love him and I'm hungry. <laughs> oh god. Even though we've just eaten. We have. I'm hungry as well, so that's okay. But we our shot date corres cor cor corresponds to the same date. I know, we've synced, babe. We've synced, we've sunk, which is quite weird because you, you're, synced. you're on different... We started off on different days, but because you're on the loading phase, it's now panned out that we're now having the same shots, but it'll only be for this month, because you're on 12 weekly and I'm on 10. Yeah. So for this month in January, we have our shot on the same day. But we're at different surgeries, so actually it didn't make so any we'll difference. We'll go for our anyway. shots <laughs> and meet in the middle and then get four, can't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, well. Um, but yeah, I hope that answered everything, and if there's anything else you want to know, please do drop us a message. Yes. And um, we can elaborate on anything else or talk about anything else people want to know. And just waffle as and well. Yeah, just waffle see. generally. Just we do that, a lot of that, don't we? Well, you might. Well, yeah, you're not exactly waffly right now. It's more like, uh, 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 hungry. Really, isn't it? Wow. Should we go? Yeah. Thanks, vibes. Thanks for watching, peoples. Love you lots. Bye. Bye.